Hey, hey there, everybody! Welcome back to the channel. It's time for another Pokemon opening. And this time, we are opening new stuff from the brand new Scarlet and Violet set, Obsidian Flames. And of course, this set is all about the Charizard. He's got the Charizard on the box here, and the Charmander, the little guy, on the ETB. So we're going to open up these two things here and see if we can find some good stuff. Of course, we're going to be looking for the Charizard, obviously. But there's a bunch of other cool things in here. There's just a, just a whole bunch of uh, illustration rares, secret illustration rares, all kinds of good stuff. So let's try and get these things open here. Let's open up into this ETB first. All right. And of course we got the book, the player's guide. We got all your different cards that you can get. There they all are. Throw that over here. The box. Take out the take out the cardboard. No one cares about that. And of course we got Nine Obsidian Flames packs. All those. And got the Charmander sleeves. Awesome. And pretty much the same thing you always get, you know. Dividers, all that good stuff. I do like using the ETB boxes to store my extra bulk. And I do take you do make use of these uh, dividers, so that's always good. The dice. I, I've noticed that the last few sets, all the damage counter dice have been the same color. Usually in the past, they would change the damage counter dice. The colors would change with the set, like the big die does. But they haven't really been doing that recently. So, anyways, let's set that over there. We're going to start, like I said, with the ETB. So let me get these set up here. All right, I'm back here. I changed the camera angle. I didn't like the other one the way it was. So new camera angle, same packs. So on the pack arts, we got the the ter Terra Tyranitar. Say that ten times fast. Terra Tyranitar. The Terra Dragonite. And, of course, the Charizard and the Reva Room. It's just those four, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. So those are all cards that you can get in this set. So we're gonna look through, look for those. So let's get into it. Of course, like I said, the card everybody wants to pull are those Charizard cards. And it's funny because the last, the last few generations, this is the, this is the third set from the Scarlet and Violet block. And it's funny that the third set from each of the last couple, couple generations have all been based around Charizards. You had Burning Shadows and the Sun and Moon era, and you had Darkness Ablaze and when the, with Sword and Shield. And I did get the Charizard out of the Darkness Ablaze set, but that's not worth that much. 60 bucks maybe? Not too much. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Magnemite, Larvesta. Rowlet, Bunnelby, Houndoom, Brassius, Magnazone, a Finizen. Finizen was one of the uh, Pokemon I got in my Build and Battle box. Palafin has an amazing attack, especially in the pre-release format. A Tadbulb. And we're starting off with a Scizor. Scizor is very use useful. Um, it's punishing Scizor's attack. Does 50 more damage for each of your Pokemon opponent's Pokemon in play that has an ability. Right now, the game is full of Pokemon that have abilities. So that's going to do a lot of damage. 210, 260, anywhere in that range, you know. All right, it's a good start, good start. Open up into the next pack here. All right, Fungus. Nosepass, Litwick, Audino, 
Malamar, Grumpig, Paldean Clodsire, Cryagonal. Oh, yes. That is a great start to this opening here. That is, let's see, two gold stars. So that is the Secret Illustration Rare Gita. That is awesome. Gita lets you search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. During this turn, your Pokemon then can attack. So it's really good for early in the game, setting up your board and getting everything set, because in the early part of the game, you don't want to attack anyways. You can, but you don't really need to. It's all about setting up. So that is pretty powerful. So let me get um, some sleeves and stuff here. Put this thing away, because that's a nice, nice start to the set. Yes, indeed. Awesome. All right, let's see what else we can get. Keep the packs, keep the hits coming. Love it. All right, we got Cub Chew, Splink, Tynamo, Surskit, Lunatone, Serena, a Lycanroc, a Crab Brawler, a Steeny, and a Hollow Entei. Entei has the pressure ability. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, attacks used by your opponent's active Pokemon do 20 less damage. So, I mean, that's, that's an okay ability. It's not really great. It's not going to do much in the metagame. But, you know, it could be useful. Actually, we had a lot of people playing that. That card actually did come up a lot in the uh, pre-release that I played in. I did okay in the pre-release. Three and two. Not great. But oh well. All right, we got Gravard. LeChonk. I want the illustration rare of LeChonk. The illustration rare of LeChonk is awesome. Let's pull that today. Let's do that. Togepi. Lampent. Poltegeist. Toad Scroll. Soul Rock. A Kumbi. A Darumaka. And a Maridon EX. Awesome. Now, of course, we already have a Maridon EX in the format, and that Maridon is, well, just better. <laughs> this card, um, this card has sort of got lumped into this set because in Japan, it came around in its own, it was its own little uh, promo. I think um, I think it came around in these some starter decks or something that they had over in Japan. But this set is just kind of one where it's, for us over here in the West, it's, it's, you know, the Japanese ruler of the Black Flame, and then just a bunch of catch-up cards that we hadn't got, haven't gotten yet. So that's one of them. Just kind of gets, just kind of gets lumped into this set. All right, there we go. Charmander, Dratini, Oddish, Finizen again, Trevenant, a Belly Bolt, Flamigo, boy, look, look at him, look at him dancing. Boy, he dances hard. A combi, Numel. Oh, and there is the regular Gita. <laughs> That's funny. You're not good. I got the better one of you earlier. All right, keep going. Smoliv, Pidgey, Combi. Varum, Crabominable, a Mawile. Mawile has the special eater ability so that when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you can discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, depending on the deck you're playing against, that can be useful. That can, Sometimes that won't be useful. You know, there are a lot of energy, um, a lot of special energy in the, in the sets right now. Rockruff, Drillbur, and there he is! There's the Terra Tyranitar. He's an electric Terra type. Look at him. Look at how yellow he is. He's so yellow. <laughs> okay. I don't really see him being being really playable. 
and, and the and the biggest part of that is because of the fact that you know they use their they don't use the energy of their terra type they use their actual normal energy and for tyranitars in the past they've either been fighting type or darkness type the better ones have usually always been darkness type but this uses fighting energy that's not going to do it fighting's not fighting it's just not the greatest uh, typing right now. So, that's okay. That's okay. He's, he's kind of cool anyways. Let's open this next one here. Come on, Peck. Come on. All right, we got Hurt Ear, Glimit, a Rhyme, Draw three cards, and you get to switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to the bench. It's not quite as good as boss, of course, because the, your opponent gets to choose what they put into the active. But it's it's still cool. Uh, Rockruff, Bronzong, Beartick, Charmeleon, a Reverse Temple, a Skowovit, and there he is, Palafin with the Justice Kick. 210 for two energy. If this Pokemon didn't move from the bench to the active spot this turn, it does nothing. So this card was used a lot at the pre-release by lots of people. Almost like almost every deck had this in it. Um, and you just have to keep switching him in and out of the active, of course, to make him to make his uh, attack useful. But of course, he also has Jet Punch, which lets you do 30 to the active and 30 to the bench. And, of course, in the pre-release format, that's fantastic because no one has Manaphy. In pre-release, no one has Manaphy. No one can stop it. And everybody had a 30 HP Pokemon, so you could do you could do double knockouts. It's fantastic. Cleffa, there's the other one. There's another one of the pre-release promos. Well, this isn't the pre-release promo itself, but one of them was a Cleffa, which has the Grasping Draw, which will let you draw cards until you have seven in your hand. Pretty cool. Pretty useful. Biggest problem is it's got 30 HP. It's an easy, easy, easy knockout for uh, Sableyes, etc. Toad School, Stunfisk, Umbreon, a Puppy, a Reverse Espeon, Diggersby, and another Hollow Entei. I've already got one of him. I don't need any more of him. Okay, come on, Pat. All right, last pack out of the ETB. Wiglet, Shuckle, a Bisharp, Magneton, Excadrill, Pidgeotto. I can't. I'm. I'm hoping to get those. Something. One or at least one of the illustration rares. There are so many illustration rares that I want to get. The Pidgeot line is very cool, and a Scovillain. Scovillain's kind of cool. It's a dual type where it can be. It's a normal, of course, grass type, but it has the double type ability. As long as this Pokemon is in play, it is grass and fire type. Very cool, but as a whole, this card just doesn't do anything else. It's uh, three energy for 110. No, that's just no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, so out of the ETB, started out real strong and then just kind of fizzled out at the end. This is an okay pull. Three out of, three hits out of nine, including a special illustration rare. It's pretty solid. So let's put these off to the side and open up the booster box. All right, we're back and it's time to do the booster box. But look guys, I forgot to show you something. I forgot this guy was hiding in the ETB. Look at him. He really wants to, well, either eat or, or burn that Pidgey. I had something to it. I don't know. He's pretty angry. But this comes out of the ETB. This is your special promo out of the ETBs. Very nice. Very cool. Thought I needed to show you that since I forgot it was in the ETB. But here we go. Let's open up this booster box. Boy, that was hard to get into. Good grief. All right. All right, 
very cool. We got our, what, 36 packs here. And you got, you got Tyranitar up on the back of the box. Look at him. Yeah. All right. So, let's open these up. Get to going. We got a lot of packs to get through. One booster box is a lot of packs. Especially when I'm moving super slow like this. Oh, maybe I should need to go faster. Dolive, Temple, Surskit, Numel, Serena, Lycanroc, a Buizel, Kangaskhan, and a Thunderous. Thunderous. Maybe I just kind of like go through the packs and if I find an interesting one, I tell you about it. Otherwise, just uh, kind of rush through them a little bit. <laughs> Could take a while. We might be here a while, guys. Froakie, that's a cute picture, though, of that Froakie. Look at him. Darumaka. There's that Mawile again. Buffalot, Buffalot has an ability called Boofer. <laughs> that's hilarious. Takes 20 less damage from attacks. Well, that can be useful, but I'm, I'm more interested in his ability being named Boofer. Okay, moving on. And a Togekiss. Togekiss has the precious gift ability. So that once at the end of your turn, after you attack, you can use this ability to draw cards until you have eight in hand. This was the card I got the I got the um pre-release promo of this one. I'll have to look and see if I can find that. Alright, here we go. Continuing on. Glorious, glorious Pokemon packs. Toad is cool. Grumpig, Trevenant, Wiggles, a reverse Malamar, and there's another Gita. I'm going to have a play set of Gita before this day's done. All the Gitas. I don't I don't need a full play set of Gitas, though, but apparently that's that's just what's happening. That is just what Pokemon has decided to give me tonight. Tynamo, Phantom, Vengeful Punch. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, you put four damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Now, the important thing to know about this is if the card is knocked out by damage from attack, meaning... Um, Sableye doesn't count. So if Sableye knocks it out, this doesn't work. Very disappointing. Um, it really, it really disappoints me that Pokemon has not made a counter, some direct counter for the Sableye card. Pokemon went to great lengths to make numerous counters to the Mew deck, to Mew VMAX. So many counters. Path of the Peak, um, you know, they made Drapion, um, just, and, and then the, um, oh gosh, the, the Spirit Tomb. I mean, they made so many counters, but so far, they have basically refused to make something that shuts off Sableye. It's driving me insane. Because Lost Box is just too, too much. There's just too much going on. It's, you can't play any other little single prize decks, mostly, because of Sableye. It's ridiculous. Oh, look, there's another Finizen. Cup Chew. <sighs> another Gita. I now have a full playset of Gita cards. Oh, my goodness. All right, Pokemon. Give me... Oh, my God, something else. This has actually been a really poor start to this box, too. I haven't... I, haven't, I don't have any hits yet, actually. That's super disappointing. Froakie, Darmaka. Move that. Move that. Dang it. Torpedo, Espeon, Lanoon, Cumbi, Magneton, and Entei. Still no hits. Not even an illustration rare. What am I in here? I'm in one, two, three, four. Five. I'm in six packs in, and I have not 
had a single hit yet. That is extremely disappointing. But I think this happened with my Paldea of all booster box too, though. Small Liv, Pidgey, Cumby, Varum, Blossom, Rockruff, Bronzor, Scizor, seven packs in. No hits. I feel like, like I said, I feel like this happened though with my Paldea Evolve set. It started out real slow and then got better in the second half, but it still wasn't great. At least that's what I think I remember, if I remember correctly. Rowlet, Bunnaby, Darmanitan, Frogadier, Timpole, Oddish, Melmetal EX. Well, I mean, it is a hit, finally. <laughs> One hit in, in eight packs. I mean, it, it counts. So we'll just go ahead and sleeve them up for now. It's no metal EX. It's nothing special. <laughs> Definitely nothing special, but I mean, it does count. All right, there we go. Let's continue. Oh, I grabbed two. Larvitar, NK, Toad School, Pokemon League Headquarters. These are cool. Attacks used by each basic Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents, cost an energy more. Now, people have been talking about how this is a counter to Sableye because um, it prevents... It makes Sableye's attack be two energy instead of one. But I want something that shuts off damage counter placement. That's what I want to see. I want to see something that shuts off damage counter replacement. We have plenty of things that shuts off damage from attack to benches and, and stuff. Let's give us something. And Toad School EX, um, I think that's coming. I think that is in this set. The Toad School EX is in this set. That I'm going to mess around with because that prevents all effects of attacks, which includes damage counters. But Toad School EX is a grass card, and grass has not been good in a while. So. We'll see. Lunatone, Serena, Espeon, Salandit, and Toxtricity. Nope, I have one. I have one right there. All right. Small if Pidgey. Stunfisk, Salazzle, Wug Trio. Small if again. Well, hey there, Mr. Charizard. Oh, aren't you looking so cool? Don't you look so pretty with that gold around you? Oh, that is so awesome. Double hitter? Oh, no, just a single hitter. But hey oh, hey oh. Looky, looky, looky. It's a Charizard. Woohoo. It's the gold one, so it's got three gold stars. Granted, it's funny that this is the three gold star one is going to be less expensive than the two gold star one. But that's just, I don't know, people don't like the golds as much. They like the extra arts and illustration rares and that kind of thing. So that is cool, though. Very, very cool. There he is. I pulled one, guys. I did it. Look at that. Woohoo. Let's see if we can get two in one box. Wouldn't that be amazing? I still haven't gotten any illustration rares. Where are my illustration rares? Ooh, I bent the, bent the heck out of my code card. Good job, me. Doesn't really matter. It's code card. Steeny. Whooper. Vengeful Punch again. Another Whooper. There's one. Gloom. Ooh, and a Palfin. Nice. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. That artwork is amazing. Look at that. These art rares and illustration rares and special illustration rares, they're just incredible. I'm I don't care. I'm I'm top loading this sucker. Done. Check that out. That is so cool. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Come on. Keep up here, Jerry. You're slowing down too much. 
stop stop admiring the artwork and just keep on opening the packs. Okay? Okay. There we go. Cliffa, Inke, Toad School, Kangaskhan, Whiskash. That's an that's an Umbreon. Look at him. A Serena. A Cryogonal. There he is, the Dragonite! The Terra Dragonite. Very cool. He's got Wing Attack for 70. Meh. And Mighty Meteor 2, 140. Flip a coin if heads this attack does 140 more damage. If tails, during your next turn, this Pokemon can attack. Meh. Both attacks. Meh. <laughs> not, not cool. But he looks kind of cool. He's a water type, right? He's terror. Is that, is that a water type? Ah, oh, nuts. I don't remember. Anyways. Very cool. Dragonite. Dragonite. All right. Here we go. Opening up. Baltoy. Carvana. Lachonk. Come on. Give me the Lachonk rare. The Lachonk art. Skarmory. Espeon, Sharpedo, Pokemon League Headquarters again, reverse of it, a reverse Tadbulb, and another Thunderous. Thunderous is still kind of cool. His ability is Adverse Weather. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, prevent all damage done to your benched Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Now, he's another bench barrier, essentially, as long as he's in the active spot. He has to be in the active spot, unlike Manaphy, who can just be on your bench. But, you know, he is another option. Technically, he is another option. Houndor, Tadbulb, Steeny, Paldean Whooper, Floatzel, Lapras, Masquerade, Electric, a Numel, and a Clay Doll. Clay Doll has an attack called Kaboom Doll. It's where you put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. If you placed any damage counters in this way, this attack does 120 damage to Clay Doll. It knocks itself out. So, it's cool. Not going to see any play. It's, it's just not... You knock yourself out to not knock out the opponent Pokemon, no matter how... No matter even if the opponent's Pokemon is weak. No. No, 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 no. It's cute. But not good. All right, Nose Pass, Litwick, Audino, Charmander, Lanoon, Darmanitan, Dartrix, a reverse Litwick, Drillber, and another Toxtricity. This actually showed up a lot in the pre release as well. It's got that cool move Loud Mix for two energy. It does 50 plus. This attack does 30 more damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. And that deck at the pre release. Had like five, five different uh, types of Pokemon you can have on your bench, so it was pretty, pretty effective. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool little thing if you could get it rolling. All right, another ball toy, Carvana, Fungus, Nosepass, Gumshoes, Pupitar, Togetic, a Surskit, Scovit, and another Darkrai. What do you think? Darkness Energy. Hey, I got one. Cool. So this uh, this box has still not been great. I'm almost halfway through the first... I'm almost halfway through the box, and the hits have not been great, actually, which has been kind of surprising. A Dratini. Oddish. A Finizen. Herdier. Frogadier. Diggers be. Whoa! Look at that! That's awesome! The full art Ortega. That is cool. Look at that. Uh, he, Ortega, lets your opponent reveals their hand, and you choose a card you find there and put it on the bottom of their deck. If you put a card on the bottom of your opponent's deck in this way, your opponent may draw a card. It's it's cool as far as hand disruption goes, 
but they can draw a card if they want to. I mean, most of the time they will draw a card, they will want to draw the card. Unless you're trying to deck them out, then they don't have to. It's, it's, mm. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't like... Sometimes I like the game design. Sometimes I don't. That one, meh. It's not great. Character key. Litwick. Audino. Charmander. Dratini, Nine Tails, Poltegeist, Toad Scroll, there's another Otega, Darumaka, and Glamora EX. Glamora EX has a cool ability. I don't know how effective it's going to be. Dust Field. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent can't have more than three bench Pokemon. If they have four or more bench Pokemon, they discard them until they have three remaining on the bench. If more than one effect changes the number of bench Pokemon allowed, use a smaller number, of course. This one obviously relates to Collapse Stadium. Collapse Stadium allow, makes it so that you can only have four on your bench. This one uh, make, forces that to only be three on the bench. So this one takes, if those are both in play, Glamour EX takes precedence. All right. All right, last pack of the first half of the box. We're halfway through. And I am moving really slow here, guys. Oh, boy. This video is going to be long. Glimmit, Rhyme, Rockruff, Wiglet. I'm, going to, I'm just going to stop talking for a little bit. Toga Kiss. And see if I can speed this up a little bit. All right, see? See, we're done with half the box. Let's keep going. I mean, you guys don't want to hear me talk anyways. It's fine, right? Let's just let's just hustle through these packs here. I don't want to knock my camera over here. Yes, look at that! Oh, I forgot about the Larvitar illustration rare. Look at how cute he is. Look at him. I don't know. I, I'm assuming those are rocks or something. I don't know. Is he just hiding back there behind him? Look at that. That's awesome. He's so cute. Look at him. He looks so lonely. He looks so lonely by himself. Okay. I hope I grabbed two. Oh, ooh, Rowlet. Haven't seen haven't seen Rowlet yet. Oh, there's a different art of different art of Finizen. And he is not nearly as useful as the other one. He is black. He is useless. Wow, that's a terrible card. Uh, Flamigo dancing away. Oh, an ice cube. Very cool. I actually got the, um, not the secret illustration rare of this. I got the full art of this at the pre-release. I can make an ice cube deck. I really don't want to because I don't think it's going to be very good. But anyways, I could. I could. I totally could if I wanted to. There we go. Let's keep going. Charmander. Dugtrio. I haven't seen that one yet, have we? Oh, look. Another Gita. There she is again. She is just teasing me. Just teasing me. I've got like five of them now. Just from this opening. Fungus Pidgey. Young Goose. I don't think I have we opened that one yet. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Bear Chick. I don't know about that one either. Hmm. Maybe I've just been going too fast or too slow. I don't really know even. Oh, look. Another Mel Mantle. Super. <laughs> Super duper. How about you give me the ones I want to pull? Is the Vesprint in this set too? Man, I'm man, I'm forgetful right now. I think the yeah, the Vesprint's in this set. I want to pull one of the Vesperquin EXs. Come on now. I want to pull one of the Vesperquin EXs or one of the Toadscroll EXs. 
Come on, Pokemon. <sighs> give me, give me the ones I want. It's, is it, is it really that hard? I don't think it is. But apparently it is. Togekiss. Let's just pull these out of here. That's what I have left. Get out of your box. This is what I have left. All right, here we go. It's uh, whatever over there. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Charmander. Armor Rouge. And a dark ride. I think I've gotten three or four dark rides too. Gotten plenty of dark rides today. Hmm. Maybe Pokemon has cut back on the uh, amount of hits you can get in one of these booster boxes after those first two sets. Those first two sets were a lot of hits. A lot of people have been complaining about cards being too easy to pull. Yada 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 blah blah blah. Okay. Yes! There he is! Oh, that's so awesome! Yes, the Pidgeot EX Illustration Rare! Oh, look at him flying around! Look at him! Woo! Look at him flying! He has the Quick Search ability. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one Quick Search ability each turn. Just, the, just being able to go into your deck and grab... Any card you want is just super powerful, super effective. It's just, oh, it's just amazing. You know, you know, just like in the video game, they used an attack. It's super effective. And to get it as the illustration rare, oh, even better. I actually really wanted the Pidgey illustration rare because the, the, the whole, like, herd of Pidgeys or whatever, the flock of Pidgeys on the uh, Pidgey illustration rare is amazing. The, like, angry-looking, confused Pidgeys. Tadbold. Seismitoad. Arboliva. Splink. Houndor. And, an oh, another Entei. I got, like, three or four Entei's now. Repetitive much? Repetitive much, Pokemon? Man. Scyther, Char Cadet, Flamigo Dancing, Cub Chew, and another Scyther. I've gotten three or four of those as well. Come on now, Wiglet, Squobit, Palpitoad, Team Star. I've noticed, I do not remember, I'm so confused, because there are so many trainers in this set that they've reprinted. Like, this is this is Obsidian Flames, but it was printed in Scarlet and Violet Base. Why are we printing it again? It is so confusing to me. I don't ever remember sets doing that before, but I don't know. Check them out. Rev of Room. EX. Cool. I was hoping to get one of these. I'm, su I'm surprised I got the uh, the full art of, of the one here. That's pretty cool. Um, there's some debate about whether Rev Room's going to be any good. Because he's got the cool tune-up ability. This Pokemon may have up to four Pokemon tools attached to it. That is pretty cool. Um, in the... And it's a stage one. In the Pokemon... Um, Scarlet and Violet 151 that we're going to be getting here in a couple months. There's a card that lets um, Stage 1s take 30 less damage from attacks. So if you put four of those on this guy, I'm assuming he takes 120 less from attacks? I think, I mean, if somebody's trying to one-hit KU, that's an effective 400 HP, right? I'm, I'm, I'm right on that, right? So I think he definitely could be useful. And you can even pair him up with the Rev of Room from the Scarlet and Violet base set, which has a draw draw engine to it. So, 
I mean, it's it's hard to say. Well, especially because I think you, before you can do anything with it, you need to wait to for Poke, or for uh, Scarlet Violet 151 comes out. I think you at least have to wait for that. Then you could see some action with it, some potential with it. Bear tick. Oh my gosh. What what is going on? I've gotten like six Gitas. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This, they, they are stalking me. I mean, oh my goodness. It's like an obsession. Charcadet, Ponyard, Boofer, Boofer. And another Toxtricity. We're down to, uh, let's see, five, five, five packs. So I will say this has been a fun opening. We've gotten some good hits, um, some amazing hits. Oh, ooh, here's the other uh, stadium card, the Town Store. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a Pokemon tool card, reveal it, and put it into their hand, then shuffle their deck. This is pretty awesome because there isn't really... There isn't really anything that lets you search for tools. Tools are kind of hard to find. You basically basically just have to draw into them while you're playing. You have Arvin. Arvin goes and gets an item and a tool, but that's your supporter for turn. It's just not as good. Town Store could be very, very useful in a lot of decks. Bonds, there he is, the little Bonsley dude. I've been hearing, I've been hearing about this. You guys heard about this? This is the first Bonsley card in 16 years. 16! And only the second Bonsley card ever! They're doing my boy wrong here. How can they be so mean to this guy? He's a Bonsai Pokemon. That's cool. How can they be so mean to this little guy? God, oh, jeez. Come on, Pokemon. Get with it. It is really weird to me, at least. And it's, it's kind of disappointing at the same time. There are definitely Pokemon that somebody at um, the Pokemon company loves because there are some Pokemon that gets that get cards constantly. Like Mew, the most the most egregious one that I can think of is Mew. Mew gets a card like every three or four sets. It's a brand new card and it's always amazing too. Then there are cards that are just neglected and ignored. Um. And earlier today, we just one of one of them I was gonna say was Groudon, but earlier today, we just saw. Oh, look at that! Look at him. He's work. He's working on cars. He's working on other cars, and he's a car engine thing. What whatever he is, I don't know. Ooh, oh yes, there's the Toad Scroll. Even better, double hitter. Double banger. And it's the one card that I want to that I'm going to be messing around with if I'm trying to make some decks. Toad Scroll EX has that protective mycelium. I, sure, why not? Uh, ability. Prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon that have energy attached. Now, this is awesome because this stops Sableye as long as you get some energy on um, all of your Pokemon. And there are ways to do that with grass type Pokemon. One, one is if you wanted to, it's a, it's, you have to give up two prizes, of course, but it's, there's Fortress EX that lets you accelerate five energy into play, but it, of course, knocks them out. So you give your opponent two prize cards. Um, then you have Gardenia's Vigor, which lets you draw and accelerates two grass energy from your hand onto, I believe, I believe just benched Pokemon, but that's okay because that's what you want to do. You want to use that ability to get energy on to, to prevent any spread damage. <clears throat> and then he also has Colony Rush for two grass energy, which does 80 Plus, this attack does 40 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon that has any grass energy attached. So you can have five bench Pokemon, right? 
So that means you can do five times 40, 200 plus 80. You can hit 280 for two grass energy. 280 is a is one of the magic numbers, you know, that you need. This guy. This guy could be awesome. There is, could be, I, I, I say could be. This guy could be so awesome. So much potential. I'm going to be testing this thing to try and get it to work. Yeah, at least I got one of these. I, I'm going to have to probably get some more. Probably going to have to buy some more, I guess, seeing as how I only got three packs here left open. All right, let's get to them. Sorry, sorry, I went on a... I went on a bit of a tangent there and extended this video by like three more minutes. Good Lord. My apologies for this video. It's very long. Dolly of Temple, Surskit, Numel, Armor Rouge, Amungus, Inkay, Electros. Oh, look at him. Look at how yellow he is. He's so pretty. <laughs> He's so shiny. He's so shiny. And yellow. This, guy, this goes well with my other one that I got earlier. He's so shiny. Well, like I said earlier, the second half of this box has been much better than the first half was. Gotten, gotten a good amount of hits to make up for what you felt like, well, what I felt like while I was missing from the first half of the box. Seismic Toad, Scovillain, and another Palafin. I could make a Palafin deck. All right, let's take a look, quick look here at what we got. I, oh yeah, I did. Never mind, I did get my third illustration rare. There they are, yep. So it's been pretty... A pretty good consistent number that you get three of the uh, illustration rares per booster box, and that's what I have. I don't know why that's the one thing that they decided to keep from the Japanese boxes. In the Japanese boxes, you only get three illustration rares too, and that's a guaranteed number. It feels like it's the exact same way in the in the international company boxes, three, three guaranteed. And then they just give you a whole bunch of extra stuff. And these are all just super random. I mean, there's no real rhyme or reason to how they distribute all the rest of the stuff, but except for except for the three basically three guaranteed in a booster box of the illustration rares. Strange. At least I think it's strange. All right. Well, last pack, last pack magic. We know we won't be getting any illustration rares. Um, I've gotten well, I've gotten two two secret illustration rares already as well, so I probably won't be getting one of those. This is probably going to be a dud. Probably, but who knows? We'll open it anyways. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Um, but yeah, comment, subscribe, give it a like. You know, all those good things. But let's open up this final one. See what else is left. I always do these videos just for fun. I don't do them very often, but, you know, when I do, I enjoy it. Tynamo, Phantom, Vulpix, Arboliva, another Team Star Grunt, Altaria, I don't know if I've seen that one yet, uh, a Reverse Whiskash, Reverse Sinistee, and another Scovillain with a Fire Energy to finish her off. All right, well... That is my f the end of my uh, Obsidian Flames opening. Um, the set will release um, to retail in a couple days here. So I hope you enjoyed this slightly early opening. So, all right, you guys have a good night.